Chris and Stuart wowed in white for a glam date night with fiancé Dylan Mayer. Hello gentle viewers, I am Jessie, I hope your moment is so sweet with watching the video. Let's start, Chris and Stuart pulled off a major style shakeup when she stepped out for the Hollywood Reporter's annual Oscar nominees night in Los Angles on Monday night with fiancé Dylan Mayer by her side. The 31-year-old Spencer actress had earlier in the day shown up in her customary Chanel for the official's Oscars nominee luncheon, but let her hair down for a sleek modern bombshell look made up of an ivory strapless top paired with a cream-colored pencil skirt by the Melbourne-based label Matyski. Of course, in a very case do move, upon stepping off the red carpet, she swapped out her Laubatons for sneakers and bulky gym socks. Mayer, who is currently working on a TV show starring Stewart, also went with a teeny white top. Chris and Stewart in Matyski paired with Nikes at the Hollywood Reporter, Oscar nominees night presented by IHC Hotels and Resorts in Beverly Hills, California on March 7, 2022. If all goes according to plan, don't be surprised when Stewart pulls off another unexpected style move on her wedding day too. I want to wear the best pair of luddies ever, and like an old t-shirt that has a tuxedo printed on it, but like cut off and barefoot, the actor told Vanity Fair last November. I want to see laugh hysterically when she sees me in a faux tuxedo t-shirt. Adapting to the new A-list celebrity status that Twilight gave him turned out to be a tough time for Stewart. After the franchise's monumental success, the young actor found himself garnering more attention than he could handle. This led Stewart to feel an overwhelming amount of stress with physical consequences. I had panic attacks. I used to vomit every day and very casually too. Fortunately, I have never suffered from an eating disorder. It had nothing to do with it. I have always had a stomach ache, and I was a control freak. I couldn't anticipate what was going to happen in any given situation, so I was like, maybe I'm going to get sick. Then I would be sick, Stewart said in an interview with Elle. But Stewart eventually learned to overcome that anxiety and better deal with celebrity pain points. I changed. That's the thing at some point I realized fear was death, but I had been through so much that didn't kill me and sorry, I know that sounds dramatic," she said. Ironically, though Stewart had more eyes on her than ever thanks to Twilight, the actor also felt she wasn't really seen. In 2012, Stewart starred in another successful, supernatural film in Snow White and The Hunter. She agreed to play the role because of her relationship with the main character of Snow White. There's so much that Snow White has been deprived of in terms of time to really grow and refine who she is, she once said in Interviews magazine. She was put in prison early in her life, so she's a stunted person. Stewart was able to identify with the idealized concept of the world of Snow White due to the character being trapped. For the actor, it was similar to how she felt about Twilight. There's so much that Snow White has been deprived of in terms of time to really grow and refine who she is, she once said in Interviews magazine. She was put in prison early in her life, so she's a stunted person. Stewart was able to identify with the idealized concept of the world of Snow White due to the character being trapped. For the actor, it was similar to how she felt about Twilight. Subscribe now! Daily Express YouTube channel for more videos. Don't miss any update. Thanks for watching.